Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and we have a little bit of news from uh, a Twitter user called The Walking Cat. He's uh, the guy that often has some a little bit of inside info and advanced information on different things. So uh, it would seem that the uh, build. So I told you guys that I actually updated my main computer to the latest build for beta on the Insider program because I felt that it was close to being what is the final version for 22H2 of Windows 11, which will come out later this year. Now we have some actual news. So it would seem that if you've installed the beta version for Windows 11, which of course is build 22.621.1, that this is the RTM. It is the official version the one that's going to make it to release. So that would be the case, apparently, that this is the release version of Windows 11 for 22H2, finally. Now, we're not there yet. There, of course, could be more updates that could arrive if there's some bugs and some things to change. But there shouldn't be any new features, as this, apparently, is what is sent to the manufacturers for testing on systems that will be sold later this year. As for the official uh, RTM, which is the release to manufacturing, apparently it's going to happen in about 10 days from now. May the 24th would be the date of official release. Once again, what we think is this is going to be the build 22.621. So uh, we would be apparently with this at 22H2. As for the release date, and I get a lot of comments on that, a lot of you are asking me when's the release date for this. The release date is um, still stated to be somewhere between September and November of this year. A lot of people have been talking, oh, it could be released early, like, you know, uh, uh, July or August. There has been some people speculating August, but most of the users that are the the uh, enthusiasts that actually know a little more about the Microsoft uh, stuff seem to say that, nope, it's, it's a September to November release, somewhere in there. Could be September or October, but uh, most um, agree that I, they don't think it's going to be before September. So we still have quite a few months left before 22H2 is officially released to everybody. But, um, you know, it kind of confirms that for some of you, if you wish to go there, and have 22H2 right now. This would be the build, pretty much, that will be released this fall. So you can, of course, do it. Um, to do it, you simply go to the settings, Windows Update, go into your Windows Insider program, make sure that you actually s get started, choose the beta channel, make sure that it's beta channel that you've chosen, and the last thing to make sure is stop preview builds, make sure you turn it on, at unenroll this device when the next version of Windows releases. So it says here queued for unenrollment. This is simply telling you that you're on the beta channel, you're testing 22H2, but when it's really official, you're gonna get out of the insider program and you'll finally be on 22H2 officially. Now, I do not recommend this unless you're a enthusiast, you know what you're doing, and you know how to reinstall or fix some problems that you might have on your PC. I am, you know, for everybody else, just hang in there. Stay on your version of Windows 11. You'll get it soon enough this fall. And honestly, yes, there's a few things, but there ain't that much more uh, on Windows 11 22H2. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.